Face angle is elite. Sure. For all these people wondering why you're a two handicap, now we know. Even if you miss it, still, still rolls pretty well. And descending loft technology is, is really coming into your right. sort of saviour here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're hitting down on this a little bit with forward shaft lean. Most putters, you're just drilling it into the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Delighted to still be in the putter studio. Mm, it's nice, nice change. It's a nice little change. So um, we're looking at more putters, Mike. We've got the Gen 2 LA Golf putters, some changes, some refinements uh, to the, the original line. I think when LA Golf first launched the product, I think they were really excited to offer a, a sort of carbon option that allowed mm -hmm. the freedom from a design uh, perspective in yeah. terms of where they could place weight, what they could do with the design. And every edition moving on from now, we're going to see sort of moves towards that refinement and, and hopefully more performance. Yeah, they had bold claims when they, when they came out and uh, they purchased uh, a company that I'm sure a lot of people are aware of is yep. sick, uh, which is that uh, descending loft, which is which is a different technology, a cool technology to yep. have. Um, but yeah, when they first came out, I think they shook up the putter world a little bit because people are like against almost the size and the look of them. But the more and more that you know, we've had them here and we've mm. rolled a few. I think you just get comfortable with it. Yeah, like anything else, uh, you know, if it's uh, if it's disruptive to the space, you're probably going to fall on one side of the fence yeah. of love and hate. Um, I think most people with the original design fell on, it doesn't sound quite how I like it, it you know, it's big, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a lot yeah. of things that we're not used to, so they probably fell on the side of, not for me, mm -hmm. right? This is much more now in line with what else you see uh, in the market. So two models, Bel Air and Malibu. Yep. Uh, within the Malibu line, we've got three neck configurations, three hosel designs, plumbers, short slant, and then uh, face balance slant as well um, within the sort of higher MOI design. Mm -hmm. um, and we just have the plumber's neck yep. on, the, on the Bel Air. Now we actually have two different um, manufacturing processes, Mikey. Yeah. We have within both Malibu and, uh, and Bel Air, we have the standard line and then we've got the X. Yeah. Uh, the new X line being the uh, CNC milled version of it. So rather than being sort of compression molded, into shape where literally just the, obviously the original form of material is, is put into mm -hmm. shape through a, a mold. You know, probably in a, we will have seen uh, forged irons being, being sort of banged in the press into yeah. shape, that type of thing. You know, maybe a little bit more subtle, but with some heat to, to compress that. This is a much more, call it, sort of intricate process being put in the CNC milling machine and, yeah. and obviously being milled into shape. Um, and you can see there's a very, very different look to the to the structure of the the, the green. Yeah, you can see more of the carbon in the uh, in the you know milled one. Cool thing with these putters is what they almost came out with first the LA Golf. It's um, what they're known for. Shafts. I think I think in uh, it's one of the harder selling points for them as a company is I think they're like is that not the the, the shaft company? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. They, they had that first. Yeah, you get a quality putter shaft and and a. A uh, putter with some technology in it for a fairly decent price, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're still a bit more expensive than the than yeah. the average. There's there's no getting away from that. You are up in the almost a thousand bucks for a putter, mm -hmm. so it's you know like everything else in golf, it, it's expensive. But um, again, we're here to decide whether it's worth it. Uh, we're looking at three sort of parts of the head predominantly. We've got the new sort of 303 stainless uh, faceplate mm -hmm. with obviously descending loft like you talked about, Mikey. We've got the carbon uh, body and we've got the weighting system uh, in here. So we've got 106 grams of, of uh, toe weight. We've got 88 grams of heel weight. Yeah. Of the overall 363 grams of mass, a lot of it is, is, is out in the perimeter. In the toe, yeah. Yeah, in the perimeter, you're correct, yeah. I mean, that little bit of difference in weighting, I like the idea of a little bit more weight in the toe. Um, but yeah, I think with the, the fact that they have the ability to machine, you know, or press this carbon, mm -hmm. it's kind of sky's the limit for them for design. Yeah, it really, really is. Uh, and when you look at sort of the, the more of a dark and kind of maybe matte finish of the, the standard Malibu or Bel Air versus the, the sort of the more exposed carbon look. Yep. What do you what do you, what does your eye sort of see? What does it prefer? The the milled one is a little busy. It's busy. Very busy. Um, but I mean, obviously, it looks it looks cool. It's a, you know people will stop and look at it. But yeah. the the standard one for me, nice and plain on top. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would gravitate towards towards that one uh, for Mo and I. I think keeping it nice and, and simple when it comes to the putter, I think is important. Um, I think that the the lower contrast between the the weights and the face yeah. and, and the body is, is kind of what I'm looking for. So interesting. All right, okay. let's roll the blade. That's that's what you use. Um, let's start you off. Standard. With the standard. All right, Michael. All right. Let's say it's, it's still a bigger footprint. I mean, when we're doing the measurements on the putter there, it's, it's as large of a blade yeah. as, as we ever test with. Definitely large. All right. Still got a kind of muted sound, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Feels, feels dull off the face. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take all of it. What a result that is. Nice. Mikey, those numbers are pretty good. Pretty good. Face angle is elite. Yeah, it's nice. Tour. For all these people wondering why you're a two handicap, now we know. Oof. Pretty good roll though. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine that's too far off uh, too far off line. Tugged it a little. Yeah, I mean, in actual fact, your roll, um, your your face delivery was slightly open. Yeah. So, like anything else, a lot of the time we hit good putts and they don't go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're we're not putting on a perfect surface. So, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's it's not perfect. In actual fact, if we if we want to project out what the ball would have done, actually, would have it would have made it inside right. Um, okay, delivery, excellent, excellent. Really, really happy with the delivery. The roll's really good on it. Let's start looking over here into um, club twist. You're actually not really testing the MOI all that well. We might need to kind of force you to do that a right, little okay. bit more because uh, the first few you've struck, I mean, really solid, as solid as anyone is going to. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a little bit of a poppy one. Yeah. What was different about that one? Yeah, if we look at the sort of the golf ball relative to the sh or the strike point relative to the obviously vertical measurement in the club head it is a little bit high on the head yeah so really that descending loft technology is is really coming into your right uh your sort of savior here yeah, yeah. um you're hitting down on this a little bit with forward shaft lean most putters you're just drilling it into the ground mm -hmm. you're actually getting really good launch conditions interesting um out of that so that's that's definitely the first point to address uh, let's go back and look at, are we getting sort of any gearing? I mean, nah. you're not really uh, yet hitting it off center enough to be seeing any of that side spin. Mm -hmm. You want a couple toe putts? Yeah, let's let's toe a couple, then heal a couple, because the toe one is the one I'm most inter interested in. A, because that's what most golfers do. I would say 90% of golfers that I work with will miss it in the toe versus yeah, yeah, the heel. Okay. And... Um, B, because of obviously the 106 grams of weight in the toe versus the 88 grams of weight in the heel, I want to I want to see what that does. Okay. All right, so give me uh, give me sort of more toe than that. That was fairly deflected, Michael. Yeah. Let's see what that does. Delivered the face nicely. Yep, you you made it very much in the toe. Interesting. Your path changed quite a lot there. What are you going to? Out to in? Yeah. You delivered the face pretty square. Um, all right, try to uh, try and give me another one out the toe. Out the toe? Yep, another one out the toe. I mean, you've made that one really nicely if you look at the ball data. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the, the technology sort of working as designed. Mm -hmm. How do they feel coming off the toe? Do they feel quite deflected or mm. is, it, is it kind of hard to feel it? Yeah, it's hard to feel. It just feels so dead. Like there's no, no response to it. Okay. But you can tell when you've missed one. Even though the sweet spot's larger in this thing, yeah. if you tow it, you can definitely, you know you've towed it. Well, we've kind of got the face coming in point, 0.97 closed. We've got it 0.97, so it, it's... It's kind of a perfect match, mm. um, but yeah, you're you're right. You've you've 
you you are kicking the the launch up a lot yeah, yeah. when you miss. Uh, right, let's let's set a couple in the heel. Really out of the heel, exaggerate it. Um, yeah. That was certainly at the heel. Yeah. Almost missed it. Oh, snapped shut. You could see yeah, the, the face closed there. I mean, for that one sounded more off-center than the, the toe strikes. Yeah. It sounded it, but actually didn't close as much. Hmm. You can see the value of why you need a heavier weight in the toe versus yeah, the yeah. heel. Yeah. I think you've got hosel mass. You've got, you do have more mass in the, in the heel section of a putter, so you actually have built instability. Uh, if we think of some other putters, you know, where we have that sort of truss neck, mm. you know, and you've got built instability, that's that's kind of one of the things you have in the heel section. That the toe being all the way out there is very exposed. Give me uh, a couple more. Good there, Mikey. Yeah, quite nice, quite nice. Very minimal curve uh, side spin mm -hmm. uh, when we when we see that heel strike. So it's very stable, but as we said, launch launch really does um, does go up. So if we sort of do the comparison down the bottom here of, of what we're looking at, the amount of twist, yeah, again, back to why they have more mass in the toe, the, the twist is more than double mm. out of the toe section than it is in the heel. That's cool. Like we talked about launch, both uh, both sides. I mean, more in the toe side, more in the toe. Does it um, does it jump up? Yeah. Where's well, you said that test angle? was to show the MOI at work, and and it's still even if you miss it, it's still still rolls pretty well. Yeah, yeah. So there's not really much difference in attack angle. About yeah, zero point fifteen degrees um, more down when you hit it in the heel. I'm just looking for reasons why uh -huh. you know one launch is higher than the other. There really isn't. Other than more deflection, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what it is. It's just more right. deflection. Um, still ch achieving forward rotation, very minimal uh, side spin. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're really not seeing these these putters gear hardly at all. No, it's good. Um, yeah, good and bad though. Remember, like you know, gear effect is is there to help us. Um, so you know, if we do hit it in the toe, I don't mind if my ball's trying to come back online, right? Because right. we we are going to have. We are going to have deflection, so deflection sends it to the right. I kind of want to know my ball has some ability to come yeah, back. Help, yeah. So, it, like everything else, it's there's times when you want it, there's times when you don't. I like the I like to have both options. Mm -hmm. um, it's why we have a, a full array of, of demos. It's isn't why it? I mean, it's why you get fit, right? I mean, yeah, it's why you, you know, get fit. You could exactly. be in a mallet, I could be in a blade, yeah, and I might need two hundred yeah. grams in the heel. Well, and, and the other part is as well is it's, it's why it's important to measure ball roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's why yeah, you, it's, you, you've got to know. You, you can't guess. That chart that you've pulled up a couple times, the make percentage chart, I've shown customers that, and they're like, is this real? And I'm like, yeah. well, see, you'll, you'll get your putter in a couple weeks, and you tell me. You tell us. It's, like, you it's know, legit, that chart. We, we want to know that you know if we stretch this out, how are you from 20 feet? How are you from you know, 8 feet? Yeah. If you're struggling from 4 feet, Let's let's take a look. Um, to be know, honest with you, if it was between eight and ten feet of green check marks, I'd be the happiest yeah, guy in the world. After that, that, it's it's kind of a hope and pray, anyways. So. Lots of variables uh, with that. Yeah, it All tests right. well. Um, let's let's hit one of the uh, let's hit one of the, the mallets. A little short slant. Sure. All right, Mikey, um, into the mallet shape. With the, you chose the short slant, just yeah, something different. Something different um, to, to look at. Does, it doesn't have quite the, the sort of uh, toe-to-heel stability. A much shorter uh, yeah. putter, 10, uh, 10 and 0.1 in, uh, centimeters from the, the hosel to the toe on the Bel Air and 8.1 with, right, okay. uh, with the Malibu. It's a little wiggle at the end. Very launchy there. Yeah. Wow. All good on the on the delivery side of things, but for someone who Oof. who is uh, if if you are somebody who's not delivering shaft angle forward, not the type of putter no. you want to be in. I don't uh, like that start of forward numbers. rotation. How does it feel? Um, 
it feels heavier, and I feel like if you hit it off the face, there's more of like a response to it than the blade. Okay. This putter studio breaks a lot. That close, just that close to greatness, but you're just not quite there. <clears throat> I felt like I had to send that out. This feels like it wants to close more? Yeah, yeah. Like I felt yeah. really hard to have to hold it up the right side. So I think what we're, what we're able to see from this, Mike, is it doesn't matter how much technology you pack into a putter. If the putter's wrong, the putter's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? There's, there's no amount of design, carbon, steel, sort of weight ratio. Nope. There's, there's no amount of any of, you know, good putters, shafts, or whatever that's going to override a, a misfit or, or poorly fitted uh, putter. It's just not going to work. I mean, those, those, you've went from magic to tragic. Yeah, yeah, really fast, a really fast. Because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that might buy something like this online or secondhand or whatever, yeah. and they're, oh, I love a short slant. I like a short, I like the look of a short slant, but yeah. anytime I've used a short slant mallet, I mean, you've looked at me and go, get that out of your I hands. Stop it. Um, but, yeah, you're right. The blade was, blade was money, and this is just, it's nice. I actually compare, I like the feel off this mm -hmm. a bit better. Um, what, why, what is it about the feel? It, it feels heavier. The whole thing feels heavier. Which is interesting, but uh, yeah, I mean, no. The, for the first, the first rolls with the uh, with the blade were mm -hmm. really good. All right, Mikey, you're a blade guy. Mm -hmm. You are a plumber neck blade guy. Shocker, shocker. It's been Me like too. that for a long time. Yep, yep. There's uh, there's a reason why this this style of putter is is so tried and tested and, and trusted um, amongst golfers all over the the planet. Now it. There will be somebody out there that this is for in, in totally. terms of, you know, people who struggle with, with kind of too much forward shaft lean, et cetera, and, and kind of struggle to kind of get the ball up and up and to, on top of the grass and rolling. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not you. No, no, it's not. And I will say this is, you know, it is more expensive, but the putter feels great, looks good. It's different. When you first look at it, it's definitely different. But if someone was to say, go play around a round of golf today with it, I'd have... No issues going to play around the golf. It doesn't have that hollow sound anymore. No, no. That, that was something that was kind of a, a little bit of a, probably for me, a non-starter. Totally. Like I, I, would, I would struggle to kind of get past that if, if I rolled a few putts with it um, versus what else out there, the quality of putters that are out there. So I think by making it a more level playing field now and sound, look, you know, feel all those things. I think at that point you can start to talk about your technology yeah. and, and know that, okay, if it's a dead heat between all these things and we've got more technology, why wouldn't you? Totally. Right, and I think they're getting closer to that mm -hmm. um, with this, but I'm really pleased to see Mikey and, and LA Golfer, uh, like we said, they were already there, but I'm really pleased to see the whole system of the putter now is being considered as potential marginal gains. Totally, totally. And we, I mean, you talk about that all the time, but you know, if they, if they came out with a putter after the putter shaft and they didn't put the putter shaft in the putter, I would say, okay, something's up. Yeah. But they believe it. A lot, of, a lot of us believe in this graphite craze of putter shafts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it makes a difference. And like you said, marginal gains. So yeah, go get fit, try we'll, one. We'll it's take it whenever we can get them. Okay, guys, um, Ellie Golf. Putters, Bel Air, Malibu, three necks in the Malibu, one plumber neck in the Bel Air. You're going to get a chance to try them at any of our stores. We, we have um, sets of demos now for our stores. Uh, I think people are, are, are interested in, in trying them at this point. Whether they're for you, there's only one way to find out, and that's be fit. So uh, stay tuned for more. We'll do more comparison tests, and I think with all the new putters we've got, because we yeah. haven't quite a few new ones recently, we'll sort of round this up. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you again soon.